Venus, your favorite girl in the whole wide world. I know you're probably wondering like where in the world has Brittany Gray been, right? No, I just kind of like fell off of making videos like I tend to do a lot. I go through a period where I get uninspired to do it and I don't do it and then I go through a period where I get inspired again. And so like right now, like I'm really trying to like make myself get inspired to do it again. I have so many ideas and I want to do everything at once, but you can't do everything at once, you know what I mean? Right now, what I'm doing is um, basically like just making an update video kind of thing, like just talking, just to get myself back into the mood of making videos. I kind of just started to feel weird even talking to the camera because it, it like I went so long without talking to the camera because of school and everything so then I just kind of fell off of it and then when I would talk to a camera like I mean like right now I don't feel weird but there were times when I would talk to a camera and I just felt like oh I don't know what to say you know what I mean and it was just like damn and weird some great things have happened this summer I don't want to say too much just because I feel like I've kind of learned that like when something good is happening to me, I don't have to share it with everybody because like I don't want to spoil it in any way. But um, just like, ah! <laughs> just yeah, I just feel really happy right now. I'll just say that much. Also, um, if my hair looks shorter, my whole like winter 2011 and spring and early summer, like I been working on trying to get my hair back to health and it has been an uphill battle. My hair was growing out and I was trimming it little by little but it would still break off like I would trim it then it would break off like because it was just like the the dye I mean the hair that was dyed was still in my hair so then last week I finally decided like you know what I'm just gonna take the initiative to just chop off all the bad stuff. It's still short but it's still at a length where I could still tolerate it and yes this is what my hair looks like. And I'm really happy that I did because it just feels so healthy now and like I feel like I'm on the road <laughs> to hair recovery or something. I feel like a year from now my hair is going to be back to where I want it and you know. Also I've been doing like a lot of reading recently. So my morning routine is to wake up, pray, go lay out in the sun and just like read for like an hour while I drink my coffee. Right now. A book that I'm reading is called The Laws of Love and it's by Chris Prentice, I believe. It kind of has to do with like the kind of stuff that I'm interested in. It's like spirituality and like the universe and energy and like the law of attraction and all that stuff. Um, but it's like the laws of love. Like, in the past couple of months I've come to a point where like I have to have a book all the time. Like I go through a book every like two weeks or something like that. I have to. It's healthy to just feed your brain. Also another thing, speaking of like praying every single day, I'm not gonna get into like religion and stuff like that because like I know a lot of people who watch me maybe aren't religious but I still want to share something with you guys. I want you guys to really understand that I don't care what anybody says, you could leave your comments, like the people who disagree with me, leave your comments down below. But just really when you like live a good life and when you're like living in your truth and living honestly and being a good person and always doing the right thing and not giving into temptation and not, you know, just doing dumb things, you know, um, things really do come together. And God, or whoever you believe in, like God, the universe, freaking um, whatever, is always working in your favor. And when you do good, when you put out good energy, and when you put out like good whatever, when you're a good person, it really does come back to you like tenfold. It really, really does. And it's just this, it's the same thing as being a bad person. When you are a bad person and you're not living in your truth, and you're not, I don't know, you're not being a good person, that also comes back to you tenfold, and I've been on both sides, okay? For those of you who are, like, re watching this right now, and you probably feel like what I'm saying is just BS, just try it. Dedicate one month or something, or just a long period of time to just changing the negative things that you're doing, or the negative like aspects of your life change it and then see what happens okay 
and even what I've done before is like I've written down a list and it was a long list like an entire page I wrote down a list of things that are causing like negative energy in my life like negative like bad things that I'm doing or that I'm not doing right that's causing bad um, situations in my life I wrote all of it down and then it's not easy to just one day snap out of it and stop doing the bad things that you're doing but little by little I did take those things off the list um, and change you have to write down things that you're doing bad and then also write down things that are making you unhappy and just go through the list and take it like day by day by day of like eliminating the bad stuff that you're doing the bad people the bad situations the bad everything and like things do start to unfold this world is just crazy there's things that you know um, I'm trying to explain in words but you know it's really hard but some of you guys will get it some of you guys won't but in any case um, yeah I really wanted I really wanted to tell you guys to just I don't know just always be positive and be a good person and be good to other people and things in your life will just blossom and flourish of course every time I talk about something it has to turn into something spiritual right but one thing that I've been wanting to make an entire video about is your intentions. Like, I want to make a huge video about intentions, but I'm just going to talk about it briefly. One thing to really analyze if something you're doing or who you are being is bad, like, before you do something, really ask yourself and be honest with yourself and ask yourself, what are my intentions in doing this or saying this or going to this place or hanging out with this person are your intentions good or are your intentions evil you know what I mean and it could be something just so simple I have friends who will hang out with guys who have like done them wrong in some sort of way and I will tell them like no don't hang out with him or something you know and they will like kind of lie to themselves and even lie to me um, unknowingly and say like oh well, I mean he's a good he like no I really do like he really is a good person like he's cool and blah 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 but what they're not doing is asking themselves what are their intentions their intentions are not to be this person's friend because realistically they're not friends their intention is to be in this person's presence because they are attracted to them and they are giving into temptation and because they want their attention or something like that you know when you do certain things ask your ask yourself am I doing this for a selfish reason am I doing this for um, for a selfish reason and for attention or something like that or am I doing this because I want to do something good I'm really bad at getting my ideas out clearly um, but I mean just to give an example I know someone who has a lot of money okay and they took someone that they know out shopping and spent a lot of money on them and what they didn't do was ask themselves what am I what is my intention in doing this because they're just not that freaking they're just not on that level to like realize things like that but their intention was not like, okay, I want to take this person out shopping because I want to do something nice for this person, that's it. Their intention was evil because their intention was to show off that they could do that. To have the person that they took shopping to go and like show their friends or whoever and so that way they could get attention. Like it's just like a selfish thing, you know what I mean? And that's a real example that I could think of. Um, to teach you guys what I mean about questioning your intentions and being honest with yourself because that goes into what I'm talking about about living a better life and being a better person is to constantly ask yourself what are my intentions are your intentions good or are they bad are they good or are they evil are they malicious or are they benevolent you know so when you do start to like see the happiness or like the changes in your life the positive changes always always take moments if, even if you're not like a type of person to like sit down and like pray, always take moments to just think in your head, like just think about how grateful you are for the things that you do receive and for the positive things that do happen to you because that's really, really important. The more grateful you are, um, the more good things happen and it's not just like, oh, just like say that you're grateful so that way you can get more good stuff. 
it's say that you're grateful because you truly are grateful and because you appreciate the things that are happening and just your life and like the good people around you and truly mean it and truly realize when you do have good people in your life or when you are in a good situation like realize it and really 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 be grateful because you could be anywhere in the world or with anybody in the world in like such bad situations like I don't know just really be grateful for what you do have and the good things that happen to you and the good things that you do have and the good situations that you do have <laughs> or that you're in so <sighs> okay so yeah I'm really gonna shut up now I'm gonna try to ease my way back into making videos I do want to make an ask Brittany for this Friday and yeah so with that said, um, leave all your comments down below, your opinions, your thoughts, your requests, your anything. Just leave it down below. Um, so with that said, thanks for watching. Bye.